Goyot a perdu et on ne sait pas en fait qui est. Qu'est-ce qu'il va faire ouais, C'est vrai, s'il avait fait Goyo, il avait gagné avec la DD. Oh merde, il y a... Il a... Oh. Si il avait vint, tu te dis... Si il avait fait Goyo, c'est le Brian qui a bien. Oui. Ah oui, yeah, water. Uh, water, water. Il a fait le Brian qui a bien. Et le problème est... Oui, il doit être water. Il doit être le water. Yeah, it's only the low one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, look, look. Look. Okay. Il a deux, il a un, une magie un piège sûrement. Il a Mask of Restrict déjà. C'est fini. 400. Si parce qu'en fait euh, la dernière j'ai plus une carte. Ah oui. Bah en fait si euh, la dernière peut pas. Il a gagné en fait. <laughs> this summoning of dragonfly. I decided to exit some of the Levier to get oh. That's a lot of monsters. Hmm. Congratulations to Akikazo Saito for winning the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2012 here in Tokyo, Japan. 2012 Yu-Gi-Oh! World Champion Akika Saito from Japan and our runner-up Stefano Mamoli from Italia. We're now saying goodbye to you. Thank you very much for watching this stream. 2003. Oh. Yeah. Huang is undeterred. He plays card destruction, discarding five dragons. He is as cool as they come. He does uh, not want to lose this one. No. You get up 1-0 on a spellbook deck, which doesn't happen often, you got to win game two. You do not want to give spellbooks a chance to get back in it. Oh. And he drew into Blaster and Burner. And it looks like he's discarding them to destroy Jaugen, which will turn special summons back on. That's a pretty good draw for card destruction. Although at this point he's drawn so many cards in the duel that he's bound to get there eventually. Now, could that face down card be a wisdom? Spellbook of wisdom? Um, 
I believe it has to be Spellbook of Fate, um, which unfortunately he can't use now that there's no spell, or now that there's no spellcaster on his side of the field. And a wisdom wouldn't really help there because it doesn't stop monster effects. Oh yes, it only helps against spells and traps. Is that a card to side out in this matchup? Spellbook of Wisdom? Yes. Yes, unless you absolutely need the spell books, and looking at his deck list, he clearly does not. There are many spell books that are not wisdom. I would probably side it out. Mm, there's one dragon ruler, two dragon ruler, three dragon rulers. Wow. It's a lot of dragons. And that's it. Card destruction into burner wins it, wins the day. Yeah, and, and Shin and Wong of Taiwan is your 2013 Yu Gi Oh! trading card game world champion. You gotta check that out when I we're done here. To. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, I don't think it's actually available in Europe so oh, far. No. I do think it's US only. Ooh. Shitsukahiyama starts off with a set solemn warning, which is destroyed by Mystical Space Typhoon. Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight's down next, and with no other cards on the field, the combos are on. Sijin Street Patrol is sent. Three cards face down. Street Patrol is banished, or Infernity Archfiend. And the it all starts. That's exactly how it all starts. Can we get a quick look at Shinsuke's hand? Uh, actually, not quite now. We're just having a couple of technical difficulties. Well, the question that Savi is asking himself is, does he have those crows again? Are the crows and Valor there? There's no Max C. Would have seen it by now. Now, when we caught a glimpse at his hand earlier, no. Uh, I didn't see any of that, so... It didn't look like it? No. He has got his card trooper in there, which, as I said before, he has what a lot of his matches using. The question is, is he going to make it to next turn? And well, Zahabi had just an incredible hand for this oh situation. Oh, yeah, this is the first attacking turn, isn't this it? This is the first attacking oh, turn. Oh, this is Zahabi not looking five good cards. for Shunsuke. Shunsuke started with five cards. Zahabi, six. Instant Fusion, Infirmity Launcher. Everything is coming up Canada in this one. Levier's next, detaching to Special Summon back. Stygian Street Patrol. Stygian Street Patrol is on the field. And the judge there just coming in and saying, uh, give your opponent a chance to say, no, I, I don't want to do anything. Which, of course, no. There isn't really anything he can do. Yeah, we talked about last round, or the last thing you want to see happen in your final match is a string of monsters when you really just need a mystical space typhoon. Yeah. I think I find something that is a little worse than that. Uh, setting a card, have it mystical space typhoon, and then this happening. And then this happening. And Zahabi now taking a look at his extra deck. He is running a pair of level valve chains. It's looking like he's debating on whether to summon that net. Next. Shinsuke takes a lot of time, tries to make it seem like he has something when he really doesn't. And the second level all chain comes down and sends Archfiend to the graveyard. Nothing too fancy this time. goes ahead and summons both copies of Infernity Archfiend. He's only going to get one search for that, though. He gets Barrier. And looking at the field, that is five 1800 attack monsters. Yep. Assuming all of this goes through, that will be it. So that's it. 5,000 plus 4,000 is 9,000 damage. Clearing attacks one at a time, just in case Gores decides to drop in and make a surprise appearance in the ring. No, there really is nothing in hand that he can do. That's it. 
And that is it in and the world just champion two turns. Sahabi one Karadine. Sahabi Karadine takes one turn and completely wipes out. And that's Kinsuke it. Kinsuke Hayama in the second duel, Look taking the that finals field. of the 2014 World Championship. Uh, misses this turn and doesn't draw anything. Necro's mirror is activated. Hold Says on. stop. I've got Imperial Iron Wall. Yep. And now Galio is forced to reveal his hand to see if he can summon or not. So can't vanish from the graveyard. Has to summon if possible. Uh, Clausalus and, and, and Trishula. Nope, none of that makes nine or three. And at the end phase, Oshinsky has the... He now has perfect information to go through with this. Gets the Deneb. Now he can draw the Trishula out if he's got like a targeting card, a fiendish chain, something like that. And this is all happening on Galileo's end phase. So he'll get the card he's searching out of his deck and then he'll get a draw, a card that definitely won't be the one that he searched. And it's Rigel. That's one reason why you put Rigel in your deck, because it can overpower Necroz of Unicor. First time we're seeing Rigel put in any work this weekend. First time I think I've ever seen Rigel put in work, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> but if it's going to be on the World Championship stage, then... Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good... Heroes pretty good show up late, I guess? Yeah. Uh, game three of the finals? That time I saw uh, Triforchops uh, being used. Match of Vegas. Yes, Triforce stops. That was great. I sat there, I was like, yes. <laughs> All right, he draws and picks up the Rigel. He's going to be able to get a ton of damage through here. He's got perfect information. Galio's a sitting duck. Rigel targets itself. Twenty-four hundred attack. Everything turns vertically. And first, Rigel twenty-four attack attacks into Unicor. Galileo asks for the translation of Rigel. Which I don't blame him for because that is not a card you really see yep. in Telenite decks uh, anywhere. It's probably like, are you sure that's just not a Dino with wrong art? <laughs> Checks it out on the official card database. Yep. It is at 2400. That's 100 plus 17 plus 15, 3300 total. And Galileo is down to 4000. And now we're getting close to TV show rules. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to see a, a free material XC. That'll almost certainly be Triver. And that's going to take one of the two cards away from Galio. What can Galio draw to get him out of this situation? Yeah, this is really tough, this especially with Triver in the nice position. He's now facing the end of his tournament. Uh, his options are, are down. The Imperial Iron Wall is going to be reset, so he's still not out of that. Hmm. If he could get a Mystical Space Typhoon and... The Clausalus would be in a discarded card, so that's huge. Yeah, he'd have to get a Typhoon, hit that Iron Wall get a mirror, and then banish Shuert for the mirror to get Trishula. And he, Shinsuke has But no Shinsuke has no cards in hand, does he? No, so he'd have to just then beat over it, I think. Yeah, well, he can't even play the mirror, if that's the case. Oh, no, that, yeah, Mystical Space Typhoon, yeah, he'd be able to play the mirror. That's rough. This could be it for Galia. He's found out his graveyard. We know he doesn't have a Unicor. He can't access any of his mirrors. Preparation of rights? That'd be pretty good. Preparations of rights would be a good time to draw that. Um, that'll allow him to... Okay, it's Manju. Got Manju. Oh, Manju gets warning. Shinsuke down to 1,700. But Shinsuke has no way to press any damage through. Yes, and he does. The end, that's, or rather, that's Galileo it. has no way to press any damage through. But Shinsuke does. That's, that's it. 21 and 15 is not enough. Shinsuke is the world champion. He knows what that last card is in the hand. Uh, he's got... Oh, he's got <coughs> the search for Deneb, yes. He's got way more attack points than uh, Galileo has life points. Galileo had a great run, but I'm afraid it's going to fall short here. This is going to be like the fastest shuffle of your life, right? Your heart must be racing as you're Shinsuke. Uh, you I've watched enough Shinsuke's game to know that nothing goes particularly fast. <laughs> 
He's oh. always very methodical in everything he does, shuffling included. Right, there it is. World champion, 2015. That's it. Shinsuke. Everything goes to attack position. Everything swings in, and Galileo de Abaldi is defeated in the finals. He is now the only player in Yu-Gi-Oh! history to come in first, second, and third <laughs> at the world championship. And Shizuke Hiyama is going to be going to his third consecutive world third champion. consecutive world champion. Yeah, this turn, Shinsuke is going to be able to discard blue eyes to trade in, draw two more cards, flip yeah. a return. And he may, in fact, be the first two-time back-to-back yeah, world this champion. He, he's looking like he's got some power plays here now. He's got all these set cards. Anti-Spellbreaker and stopping Eric in that last turn from playing that Cards of Continents. Didn't play it anyways because he'd set the stone. Yeah, exactly. So it's just, yeah, one thing after another. So now that this trade-in's live, he's going to go looking for some dragons. You're not going to be able to play that because of Anti-Spellbreaker. So now he has Emptiness. More spells. I think I saw emptiness. Yeah, he picked that, up. Uh, that could be. Card. That could be so important. Is that a Valor as well? No, not a Valor. It was uh, Master. I think Christensen. Yeah, I don't know he's got Dragon Spirit, but white. Yeah, he's got Dragon Spirit as well. So it just depends what Shinsuke decides to go for here. I don't think he's got enough to be able to put game on the board, but. Summons Master, lets him pick yeah. up his stone again. Yeah, don't think he's got any uh, really great way of using using that right now, but he's going to make a Synchro Monster. He's going to go with Spirit Dragon. Spirit Dragon. Position. He's got the set yeah. return. Oh, so he does. Ha yeah, he does have enough. Yeah, he's, he's got, actually, he's got, got two return. returns. That's so. This is this is it. Eric Christensen here just unfortunately. Unable to keep up with the pace of Shinsuke Hiyama here. There's a second Spirit Dragon. Another return of the Dragon Lords. Take out more set cards, and this is it. Shinsuke Hiyama is going to be a two time world champion. Well, that's wow. not at all what I was expecting to see right now. Well, that, that was the power of the Blue Eyes deck. That is the fastest. Uh, final match, I think, in any championship level tournament ever. Yeah, wow. Because even in the case of uh, the old, I think, 2010 World Championship, with what's the attribute called there? So he was trying to overcome miscellaneous horse and Agni Mizid. Vanishes two for Miscellaneous Horus. He's going to go get another baby. Babies are Horus number three. And now he's thinking, how do I get through all of these life points in one turn? I'm not sure he quite has it. I think he can secure this game down over two turns. Something would have to go really horribly wrong for him to not be able to do this. Even if he can't quite get it now. It's the second over Rapture. He's got no Link Monster, so he's out of extra deck summons here. got pillars with the Yang Zing still, so that's helpful. So Milton has one card in hand, one, uh, two cards on the field, and a pillars to take out the any card that would threaten him. And he summons yet another soul eating over Raptor. Now you said it was a pretty important card. It's extremely important, yes. And <laughs> now there are three of them. He's got his whole little pack with him. Can you see how important it is? Yeah, you know, I think I needed to see it like three times that's just for it to sink in. That's what they say. You've got to repeat it three times, and in this case, he's got to summon it three times. <laughs> Goes for a thousand there, another right, thousand there. Right. There's a handshake. And everything else attacks. And that's and it. Milton is done for. Ryo Suke Suchimura, the world champion 2017. The first new world champion in more than two years. Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. He's, he's <laughs>
Hector. He can't believe it. Hector He's saving him. He's got him. <laughs> oh, look out. The smoke's there. Uh, there are millions. There are millions. That's oh his other Oh my god, monster. and he's gonna get rid of the Milliseek in the safest way he knows to, to banish it face down. Oh man. I have not seen a better duel than this one in <laughs> so long. <laughs> what yeah. a game that for the, the world championships. Now the interesting thing is he can banish more than five cards. Not a lot of people yeah. know this, yeah. but yeah. at least five cards. Oh, <laughs> he's just a whole pile. Yeah. <laughs> Send them all away. As if he just heard. Eater of Millions is hungry six. for this game. 15 and 16. It looks like he just took his entire extra deck there and tossed it. Yep. Very, I think very. Still a little bit left. Seem like right? tokens. I think it was to they were tokens. Oh, uh, unsure. It's a lot. He, he banished a lot of cards. Oh, okay, okay. oh yeah, there's tokens. Nothing left. Only tokens. So it's on 1600 Six, plus the, yeah, then right. the, the the one monster 1700 and uh and Bowden's looking for marionette uh yeah but but uh, uh, just no cards in hand does he uh no I he has nothing he just mind crushed away the last card that's right he lost it it, it was just silquitous though which wouldn't have helped him out that much oh <laughs> <laughs> we see him rubbing didn't even slow roll straight to his hand. Nope, it's just a set card. But I think by that reaction, it might have been a manifestation. I, I don't know if he's overplaying it. You know what I mean? Oh, we're in the time. We're in time. Last turn of the duel. He can't deal any damage. Oh, oh my goodness. He can't deal Ching any damage. Wang Chia, the world champion from Taiwan. Unbelievable. What a game. What a game. My co-commentators are stunned. I can't. Uh, what a fantastic game we just saw. Lullaby of obedience for Cyber Dragon. Give me it back. Mind control. That's that 2000. The 2000 killed him. That was literally the difference in the game. 2000 life points in time. You can just see Ching smoking it in too. He can't, he can't <laughs> even believe that game because of how just bad it went. Oh, man. we're going to head on over to the stage. Getting that uh, Salamander yeah. great monster off the field. Yes, so tough spot, honestly. Koki playing uh, very well and at his best. Can Ching still draw into something? It seems like very difficult here for him. Salamander it's great raccoon, huh? Okay, raccoon is the one you don't see often. It, it allows you to protect your Salamander greats from battle, but it is not what you want to see it right now. Is he going to negate the will here? It's really coming down to the wire. I should really hold to your seat because this is the last place you're going to see for this year World Championship. Takes one more look through there. Pass turn and this is just a formality. You can see him shaking his head. Koki is just a few attacks away from becoming the 2019 World Champion for the TCG. Come on, Koki. No effect. No effect. Just getting he lines it up. He One goes hit, for a two hit. Attacks. Three hit, four and hit, Shane. and world champion has been declared. Kosaka yeah. is the new world champion. Japan takes two world champions this year. They won the World Links. They won here again. Wow. Back, new. Back with a vengeance after last year not having a finalist. For, the, for Japan and now they're taking two tournaments down. You can never underestimate Japan and they just proved it once more why they